Brewers regular season game 31 would start off with a Brewers practical 1-2-3 except for a Tyler Black walk. The Cubs would have a practical 1-2-3 except for an Ian Happ single. Bryce Terang and Oliver Dunn would hit singles. Blake Perkins would get the third out. Michael Bush would hit a double. Miguel Amaya would get the third out. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. The Cubs would also go 1-2-3. Jake Bowers would walk, then Bryce Terang would hit a single. Ian Happ and Michael Bush would hit a single. Matt Mervis would get the third out. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. The Cubs would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Nico Horner double. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. A Christopher Morrell home run would make it 1-0. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Elvis Piguero would come in and throw 1-2-3. Blown save master Adbert Alzole would come in and give up a single to Jackson Churio. He doesn't even have to blow a save to earn runs. Because just like that, it's 2-1 Brewers. An RBI single by Jake the Rake Bowers would make it 3-1. Aw, uh, they got rid of the blown save master, but Reese Hoskins was the third out. Yoel Piams will come in and give up a single to Nico Horner. Mike Talkman and Ian Happ will get back-to-back outs. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Joey Ortiz triple, by the way, which is the second of the year, which is kind of weird. Trevor McGill will come in in the ninth and get the save with a 1-2-3, his second of his career. The Brewers win 3-1 against the Cubs. The record is now 20-11. And the Bruce respective Bruce player of the game goes to William Contreras.